Hey everyone, Mike here with the Sysadmin Guru, and in this video today, we're going to go through installing Windows Server 2012 R2. It's a very easy install, so stay tuned and we'll get right into it. So I'm here at a blank screen, as you can see. But what this actually is, is I'm going to demonstrate this using VMware. Now, the steps are going to be the exact same whether you're using VMware or Hyper-V or you just have a physical server. The only thing that's really going to be different is how you insert the media. Now, because I'm using VMware here, I'm actually inserting the media virtually through an ISO image. So if we actually go to my VM settings here, let's pull this up so you can see them on the screen, and I go to the CD DVD drive, we're going to see that I actually have an ISO mounted, and that's how I'm going to be attaching my ISO image to the VM to install Windows Server 2012 R2. Now, if you have Hyper-V, you're going to do something similar. If you're using a physical server, then you're literally going to either put a USB drive in the server or you're just going to burn the ISO to a CD and insert that into your server. But the steps are going to be the exact same. So let's go ahead and just cancel this guy and let's go ahead and just boot up our VM and we'll see exactly what's going to happen during the installation. So I'm going to go ahead and power this guy on and we should see pretty quickly once the VMware, there we go, and now we can see that the ISO is already being pulled and we're loading all the files that are necessary for the Windows Server 2012 installation. And once all the files have been loaded, we're going to get our beautiful Windows Server 2012 splash screen here. And we're going to see the nice little spinning icon until everything is loaded and we're actually up to the screen to do the installation as we are here. So, perfect. So, we're now going to do a Windows Server 2012 R2 installation. Clearly, we can see that up here. Our language to install, we want to be English. And we want the time and currency to be English as well as the keyboard keyboard input to be US. So I'll just go ahead and click next here. And this is also the place where we can repair. If we already have Windows 2012 installed, we can use this ISO to repair. But we're going to just go ahead and click install now. And depending on what version you put in, whether it's a MSDN ISO image or a volume licensing image, you're going to have to put in the product key that you need. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the product key and kind of blank that out because I trust you all, but I don't want you seeing my product key. And once we've entered the product key, we'll just go ahead and click next. It's going to validate our product key and move on to the next part of the installation. So now we can see that our product key and that the installation media was for Windows Server 2012 R2 Standard Edition. And we have our option of whether we want to install server core or server with a GUI. Now server core, the only thing you're going to get once you do the installation is actually going to be a PowerShell prompt and a command prompt. Those are really the only two options you get when you log remotely log into the server. If you do the installation with a GUI, which is required for a lot of Microsoft software, then you're going to get the full GUI experience as you would with any sort of Windows computer. You're going to get the start menu, all that good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and do it with a GUI and click next. We have to agree to Microsoft's licensing terms. And now we get to choose whether we want to upgrade if we have an installation already here or we want to do a custom install. I'm going to do a custom install because this is a brand new installation and we're not upgrading. So my custom install, I get to pick which drive I want. And you can see I only have one drive here, and that's 128 gig. So if I wanted to, I could actually create a new partition and create a smaller partition, but I want to use the entire drive. So we're just going to select that guy and click Next. And Windows is going to start going through. It's going to copy all the files that it needs from the ISO image or the CD, and it's going to prepare everything, it's going to install the features and updates, and then it's going to reboot to the point that it's now going to be usable. So we're going to go ahead and let this run, and we'll be back once it's finished.
So now we see that the install has finished, and after a couple of reboots, we're now prompted back to a essentially a working Windows 2012 server. Now, the first thing it's asking me to do is create a password. So I'm going to create a administrator password for this. And of course, I don't want you guys to know this password because it's a top secret password. Anyway, I put that in. It's going to finalize all of my settings and I will be brought to a Windows 2012 R2 full GUI prompt. And there you have it. I'm at a full Windows Server 2012 R2 prompt. Now, if I were to say send, I'm going to have to do this through our through VMware, but if I just were to send a control delete, there we go, to this server, you can now see I'm at the administrator prompt and I put in our top secret password. I'm brought directly into Windows Server 2012 R2. And there you have it. And that's how to do a full installation of Windows Server 2012 R2. And in an upcoming video, I'll show you how to take this Windows Server installation and make it a domain controller into your own Active Directory environment. So with that, I hope you found this informative, and I'll see you later.